nominations will be announced in 30 minutes. The Big Brother housemates had to nominate twice yesterday for the person they want evicted on Friday. The first time, the group overheard Darren mention Melanie's name when he was in the diary room. But you can't hear in there. Nice. I did hear. You did hear, Dad. Did you hear what I said, though? I yeah. did, yeah. To ensure confidentiality, the nominations were started again from scratch. The two people I nominate this week are... Claire and Craig. Craig and Claire. I would like to nominate Claire and Craig. The second time round, Darren changed his vote from Melanie to newcomer Claire. It meant Claire and Craig, with three nominations each, faced the public vote this week. At the start of day 47, the housemates still don't know who's on the eviction list. They'll be told in two hours' time. How are you feeling today? OK. <laughs> Fine, yeah, forgotten about everything. <laughs> I know. It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to take my coffee to bed and read. In bed. And I might have cigarettes. <laughs> I might go to bed, too. I might shut the storeroom. Claire was chatting with the boys late into the night. She's fallen asleep in Tom's old bed. This is great TV. The commentary will be, and Anna and Mel turn into two fat lads. <laughs> 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 Sloths who spent their day smoking and eating in bed. <laughs> Anna and Mel turn into two fat, loud mouthed well, sloths here, who spend their day smoking <laughs> and eating in bed. It takes exactly 38 lunges to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Anna hasn't had her breakfast yet. It's not gurgling. Mm. That was, yeah. <laughs> Sounded like a Whitney Houston number. <laughs> this is Big Brother. The result of this week's nominations will be announced in 30 minutes. Before Darren came to the house, he couldn't play the guitar. How many do you think, Mel? Three. Three what? Nominations. I think three. Maybe four again. I don't think four. I don't know. I feel nervous. Yeah, I do. I think I'll get at least two votes this week. I think you might get two as well. Uh -huh. 
at least. No, I don't hear it, Mum, too. Oh, God, I feel sick. I know, I do oh. feel really sick. <laughs> yeah. I'm sick of feeling sick. I know. <laughs> So I've just let wind out with nerves. <laughs> this is Big Brother. We'll be announcing the results of this week's nominations in five minutes' time. This place is so mean. I know, I came out this morning and I said, oh, I'm not doing it. I'm just going to sit down on my big black ass. I know. <laughs> Should you have a quick burst? Yeah, yeah, quick sweep. Mingin Ming City, Ming Mong, Minginess of Minging Hood. So we were first nominated, it's a bit different because there's four of us, so we didn't really get the... about to announce the results of this week's nominations. <laughs> well, it's been very nice knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> this is Big Brother. There are two people nominated for eviction this week. They are, in alphabetical order, Claire and Craig. <laughs> Told you. I knew it'd be me anyway. God, I am the third Kaggy. How funny. Oh, dear. Me you then. Be, I'm going to be going, so. <laughs> Never mind, don't worry about it. I'm not going to mind you going, I'm going to be going. No, you won't. Yeah, they throw you out on the third time, they do. No, they don't. They threw Kaggy out, yeah. Third time lucky. Yeah, third time lucky. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you mean you like that? I meant third time. I'll oh, shut up, shut up. <laughs> I'm actually quite pleased. Quite pleased? Yeah. I'd rather go this week than next week. Definitely. Yeah, because next week's the last one, isn't it? I would rather go this week, no question, than next week. Than the last one, yeah. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. We'll see you Friday. OK. <sighs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> oh. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Oh, no. Craig, a hug oh. again. Bloody hell, that's all I do oh, is hug you. That's OK. <laughs> Come on, keep it coming. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Can I have a hug, Dad? Come on, good girl. Come on, come on. 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 Uh, you know, do the viewers outside uh, like you? You tend to think that way. Uh, and you tend to think, you know, because uh, Melanie hasn't been nominated at all, uh, the viewers are going to think, you know, she, you know, is a perfect girl. I mean, there's not, not wrong with Melanie. You know, the viewers may think she deserved to win it because she hasn't been nominated. If Darren hadn't changed his vote yesterday from Melanie to Claire, Melanie would be up for eviction for the first time. Melanie, yeah. do you reckon you'll go down on history? Oh, yeah, you piss off. What has? <laughs> the girl that never oh, got nominated in the Big Brother house. <laughs> Come on, go away. How do you feel relieved? Right. That. It wasn't more than two names. No. What do you mean? Well, relieved, because there's only five of us here, so if there'd been more than two names, it could have been any of us. Tom used to be so funny when he was cleaning up. When they hit the nominations and you don't hear your name, does it feel relief? Uh, no, not really. Doesn't it? No, it's not a, not a relief. Why? Because, like, sometimes you want to get the chance to go home. Yesterday it pissed me off a bit. It wasn't... But it was fun in the end. No, last night was wicked, but in the daytime I just thought it's not... You got the this is crap feeling? Yeah, this is really crap. Yeah, we get that a lot. You're going down in history, the girl that was never nominated in the Big Brother house. There's always next week. <laughs> <laughs> There's always never, next week. Never, never nominated. Know. Wicked. Wow! Excellent. I'm going to do my breasts now. This is just great TV. <laughs> you ready? I am. The group's task this week is to make life-size sculptures of their bodies using chicken wire.
completely covered with photocopies and photographs of their body parts. Melanie's chosen to take the photographing of body parts yeah. literally. Yeah. Melanie's reaction to hearing Darren nominate her yesterday has left him troubled. Yeah. Melanie broke down and that made me feel, I still feel like sad for the fact that she broke down because when I went in there and said, how do you feel and be honest? She said gutted and started crying and that's what really kind of made me feel, oh, I'm sorry, kind of thing. But the next day I said, forget about it, throw it over your head, squash it. So. And I'm sure tomorrow I'll be fine. I know it's not. It's not worth thinking about it. It's too late. Forget it. I even last night wanted to come out and say, you know what? Forget about it. It doesn't matter. I've said your name, and you've heard me say your name, and it's too late. There's nothing you can do about it. So just squash it. And then arms. Yeah, let's have lots of bums. <gasps> Stay. Those two bits down. Oh, it's already warm. Oh, how weird. <laughs> Wicked. Wow! Excellent. I'm going to do my breasts now. <laughs> <It's> amusing. <laughs> <laughs> This is just great TV. <laughs> you ready? I am. Hold on, you're making 50%. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, my God. Uh, what happened there? Tiny. <laughs> OK. It worked well, though. Yeah. Great, it's even got my little birthmark. <laughs> you missed it all, Darren. The camera saw it. I'll see it when I get out <laughs> on next Friday. And I'm going to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. The chickens are recovering from a bout of illness. Big Brother's concerned the housemates care for them properly. Um, have the chickens been let out today? <gasps> You're right, I don't think they have. We should let them out for a little hour, eh? Yes. Um, please don't forget that. It's very important for the chickens. And um, also, how do they seem after their course of antibiotics? They seem fine. They seem very happy, quite chatty. They're getting on well. Um, and, yeah, they seem, they seem a lot healthier. Little shits have to be let out for an hour. Claire didn't nominate Craig, and Craig didn't nominate Claire. Can I sit on this and catch the last few rays? Yep. I'm so bored doing that. So bored. It is really, really. Oh, I'll cut your sellotape for you. What's on your mind? Nothing really. I'm going to go and see Big Brother later. Yeah, why? Yeah. Huh? Why, it's To let rip. <laughs> you want to let moan again? I'm going to moan, yeah. It's all right, you've got to just got to for it. It's a killer, though. You sit in here and you just think about stuff, don't you? It's so much time, yeah. Think. What are you thinking, then? Me? Yeah. I'm not thinking anything at the moment, but, you know, a, a usually, usual day, a hundred things will go through my mind, like. I tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I can't wait to see my little baby brother. I'm getting really excited now. Yeah. Yeah, big time. Oh, 
My mother's graduation is coming up. Oh, really? Yeah. What does she um, study? Um, classical Greek. Oh, really? Yeah. And English. Brilliant. Did she enjoy it? Did she enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah, it nearly killed her, though. Stress? <laughs> the stress. You know, she hasn't... I think I was saying to you, she left school at whatever, 14. And yeah. has never studied until the tender age of... I won't tell, actually. I won't say it on TV, ma'am. <laughs> She'll love you for that. What? She'll love you for that. Yeah. I think she's 44. <laughs> <laughs> Our mother was 35 for years. <laughs> I say, what age are you this year, ma'am? 35. <laughs> and then the next year, what age are you this year? 35. <laughs> Until we clicked. She was fibbing. <laughs> It's so easy. Melanie and Anna have made a Spanish omelette for dinner. Darren, who doesn't like eggs, has made himself a sandwich. Um, wow, that sky is absolutely gorgeous. Shall I wake up the sleeping people? <laughs> Sleepy household. Sleeping people. Craig, dinner's going to be ready in around two minutes. Two minutes? Oh, yeah. Well. Claire? Claire. Two minutes. Oh. It's ready in two minutes. Thanks. Can I just have it on the side, please? I'll come with it later. Yeah. You'll eat mushrooms. This is looking quite good. It's very, very nice. Yeah. Okay, Do you want more veg? Yeah, I'll just take that one off and I'll swap it for. Cheers. Thank you. And. Mm -hmm. Imagine three. What? Imagine three people. I know. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's what it'd be like. <laughs> Claire's been a bit quiet since she learned she's up for eviction this week. She's decided to talk to Anna about it. So how did you feel when your name was called out? Cool. Did you go, no. hear your name being called? I knew it was going to come up. I, I did, honestly, from day one. I have got the hump a little bit, and it's got nothing to do with my name being called out. OK. And normally, if I've got the hump, I'll open my mouth. But you can't hear. Is that what you mean? Sort of, yeah. yeah. And then I think, say my friends are watching, they all know what I'm like and they're all going to be thinking, she's not been herself. Because there's nothing to do and there's nothing else to think about, you naturally your brain just goes for something a bit more interesting, doesn't it? Mm. I suppose if there's something that you have been thinking about, it just goes over and over. Yeah. I'm actually beginning to bore myself in my head. <laughs> Never. <laughs> I would say, this is why the nomination bit doesn't bother me, because either way, my name would have come up whatever. OK. Either way. So that isn't the problem. There were two people's names that were heard. One person didn't react at all, and one person did. And I feel a little bit as though... a little bit of manipulation is going on, and it just... It just stinks a bit. <laughs> so are you angry with someone's reaction more than someone's equal decision? Okay. Equal. Okay. I think it's. I think it's really. I think it was really pathetic, if I'm honest. Both, and it's hard. I mean, it's easy for me to say because I've not been in here, so it's obviously a lot harder mm. if you've been here a long time mm. and, and that happens to you. But because. Because there's someone else that had the same thing and mm. has been here at the same time and all that, that's why I say that about both of them instead of just the one. If it was just the hurt about the decision, then regardless of whether Big Brother said we could change the decision or not, 
the mood would stay the same. Mm. But the minute Big Brother said we could change the decision, it was all jumping and screaming and laughing and all happy and buddies again. And that, to me, I think the mood just changed too quickly for my liking and I just thought, that's a bit sick. Whether there are lingering things or whatever, the initial reaction was really, really happy. Because I saw it. Mel said she'd much prefer it if she were, basically she was shocked, completely shocked with Darren. And then me too. And knew therefore that was she basically wants Craig in my life. Claire comes to the diary room to talk to Big Brother. When I came into the house, I knew a few things were certain, almost. I knew that it was very unlikely I would win, and I also knew that it was um, likely that there'd be bad stories in the press and stuff. And so when I asked myself why I came in here, I just had to think, really, it was for the experience, and that was why it was, and I was hoping that you know, even if I did get nominated at the second week, which I was pretty positive I would anyway, I would have really, really just had a really good fun time here. But, ah, uh, just gets you down a bit. You just get people disappoint you, and it's really sad. And I didn't, I didn't expect that, to be honest. And when you're watching from at home and you're looking in, you know, you see people sitting around a room in a, on the TV, and you can't feel the tension that's in the room, but you can when you're in it, <laughs> and it's intense sometimes. Finish. Eh, uh, you know what, yeah, I've got my feet to do. Definitely, definitely, not with everybody in the house, but with a few of them, there's definitely another agenda going on. You know, people say to you, are you OK, or blah, 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 and you know they're not asking you because they really want to know if you're OK. We should swap rooms. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Claire and Craig know that one of them will be leaving the house on Friday. When I go out, they're saying, what, um, what, if, if you have anything, if you could say anything or you could leave them in prison, what would you do? I'd say, well, give... Give Craig a blow up dog because I think he's about to explode. <laughs> I think even a sheep you'd be grateful for. Yeah, I didn't know this one. <laughs> yeah. what, would, what would be your parting gift for everybody? What would be yours? The parting gift, what to give to each person in here? Mm. If I could. If, yeah. Yeah, give Darren uh, a right hook. <laughs> <laughs> Who goes, you decide. To evict Claire, call 09011 980 101. If you want Craig to go, call 090 11 980 102. Calls cost 10 pence.